This morning, I finished writing my ninth book. This afternoon, I started writing my 10th book. I'm sharing this with you because sometimes, every day, <laughs> people say, Sylvester, I want to be an author. What advice do you have for me? Please enlighten me. Tell me how to become an author. And every day when I get that message, I say to myself, huh, you want to become an author, huh? Well, why don't you write books then? <laughs> to me, it's that simple. If you want to do it, do it. Didn't Nike tell us that? I think I'm wearing Nikes. Look, I'm wearing, I'm wearing some Jordans. Didn't they tell us that? If you want to do it, do it. You don't need my permission to be the best-selling author that you are. All you have to do is write your book. And it might be awful. Write another one. It might be the best-selling book of all time. Who knows? You have to find your why. You don't need validation from me or any other person. I'm not writing my books for any other person other than my why. My why is what I'm writing these books for. Ask yourself why you wanna write that book. Don't ask any more authors for advice on writing books. You don't need their advice. Because I'll give you a little secret. Most authors don't feel like they're worthy of the audience ship that they have. And what I mean by that is this. Every single author you talk to, every single author uh, name you bring up, they never ever started because they wanted X to read their books. They always started because they were inspired by some story, inspired by some feeling, inspired by some outcome that the book could create. I am no different than any other art, uh, author. Sometimes I say to myself, damn, why do people read my books? Like, this is crazy. Because when you start, you're not thinking about that outcome. You're just thinking about that desire. Like, man, I need to write this book. Like, the, when I wrote the Care Package book, I wrote that book in like seven months. That's the fastest I've written a book. I got the idea. I'm like, oh man, this is it right here. I have to write Care Package. I had just written the book Lust for Life. I was riding a high on Lust for Life. Lust for Life was the number one bestseller on Amazon. And I'm just like, yo, I know that's the number one bestseller on Amazon, but I got this book in my head called Care Package. And then I remember telling Daisy, I'm like, Daisy, look, this is what I'm gonna do. Look, the cover is gonna be blue and there's gonna be this little box. And this box is gonna be a box of healing. You know, because it's a care package. And basically, if you're trying to heal, you're willing, you will be willing to go through any terrain to get through the box of healing. So what you see is you see this box in the middle of the, the desert, the middle of the mountains, but the box is it's just lighting up and there's just all this healing light coming outside of it. I'm like, yo, that's gonna be the cover. And Daisy's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that that sounds cool. Yeah, do it, do it. Like I had the cover. And then I was like, look, it's going to be nine chapters. No, 10 chapters. I ended up writing 16 chapters. And then I deleted the ones that didn't go with the book. Because I was like, nah. Like when I got towards the end, I'm like, hmm, no, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. Eh, okay. And one of the chapters I got rid of was the very first chapter of the Free Your Energy book. Because I started writing. I'm like, this actually sounds like part two. And then I said to myself, well, damn, if you go through all this, this pain stuff and you heal, like at some point you need to like just free your energy from that. Like you just got, oh, I'm gonna call it free your energy. And it was like that. The idea for my books came to me. It was a, it was an inner, it was an inspiration. It was inside of me. It was never like, oh man, I need to write me an Amazon bestseller and it's gonna sell this many copies and people are gonna post it on their Instagram. Like that's not, that's not where you wanna create from. I'm gonna tell you this last thing. Okay, I got, I got 20 seconds. I'm gonna tell you this last thing. People want to read authentic. And what, what I mean by that is, if they're reading a story, they wanna read a story that feels authentic to them. Even if the story is fantasy land, look at Harry Potter. It feels like an authentic story. Matrix. Matrix is a made up story, but it feels authentic. You could think of any movie, any book. We wanna read an authentic, uh, authentic story like, damn, that felt real. Even if there's fantasy elements, you get what I'm saying? If you're gonna write a self-help book, make it real. If you're writing poetry, 
Make it real. Make people feel you, bro. Make them feel you. When people read my book, I'm trying to get people to cry. I'm trying to get people to laugh. I'm trying to get them to think. I'm trying to make them feel. I'm trying to move them with emotion. That's how I write. I'm trying to move you with emotion. You got to feel me, bro. When you open my book, I want you to feel my energy. I want you to hear me talking like, damn, this this dude put all this in his book. He put all this energy in his book. Give me that book. Give me that book when you drop it, boy. Drop the link so I can get the book. Boy, I need that energy you got. Because I'm coming from here. Stop looking for the external. Come from here. You don't need my approval to be a bestseller. Just go do it. Just go do it.